you know, trying real hard to get that sponsorship, ain't you? Eventually, Coors y'all are going to come over. You're, Coors Light is the worst. You are not the person to give beer advice. Yes, I am. You're not. Pabst Blue Ribbon this is, is the, the best beer. This is the same guy that said Mil, uh, Milwaukee's best was, was a good, good beer. Even I, they Pabst don't Blue drink Ribbon is like the potted <laughs> meat of beer. <laughs> I like potted meat. We are back with another episode of the Outlaw Way podcast. Got a special guest today, but you know it's me, the boss. Got Nacho, Cheeto, and Cookin' with Cajun over here is with us today. And we're talking about worst of the worst, best of the best, places we've worked, roads we've traveled, and food we've eaten. And I mean, we all know what the best beer is. It's obviously PBR. Well, I got but... a question, though. I got a question. You were here a while back, and uh, you didn't bring no damn cornbread with you. Now you come back this time, you got any cornbread? Negative. Oh, I'm telling you, man, man, two times, two times in a row has let us down this food here. We've got to go out people, back and set up some cast iron. That's what I'm we're telling going you. to do. The, 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 mo- the more you make people want something, the more they're oh, willing to give You're doing that bullshit about good things oh, okay. coming to hey, those you're who doing the, You're doing okay. the Halle Berry okay. thing, yeah. you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there for like 30 years, she was the yeah. shit. I don't even know what she looks like. She's not in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, shit. So the best of the best, the worst of the worst, huh? Let's start with uh, let's start with roads, maybe, because I'll tell you what, Louisiana, the current state that we're in, is probably pretty high on the list of worst of the worst of it's roads. Number two. I, yeah. It's number two. I've always, it's all my life, I've, yeah. I have swore it's the worst until we went to Oklahoma. Yeah, that Indian Trail is pretty Man, bad. I'm uh, telling you what, though. Hauling usually, a gooseneck trailer. If you can make it through Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, my God. Without hitting a pothole. You flew. No. Oh, you ain't doing that. You no, flew. You ain't That's doing what that. it is. If no. you can drive between Lafayette and Lake Charles and still have yeah, a trailer. Yeah. I'll tell you what. The, I'll tell you not what, I only spoiled. the roads. I grew up in Texas, and there ain't a bad road in Texas. I came over here. Texas My God. Is, Texas has got their shit together on the My, roads for the most yeah. part. Louisiana is yeah. horrible. But I'll tell you what, though. Pretty much anywhere near Lake Charles, Louisiana, New Orleans, anything like that, if you expect a good road, odds are slim. But if you expect... Not absolutely fucking horrendous traffic and a wreck, you're just dumb. Yeah. Because you're going to see a wreck and it's going to be fucking terrible. The Between whole Lafayette time. and Beaumont, that stretch right there. I'm on, telling you. On I 10. It's man, a racetrack, too. It is. You, you could bog a helicopter on that road. Now, you I'm get past you. you get past Beaumont, get into Houston on the other side of Houston, outside of Seguin, from Seguin to El Paso is 85 or 90? Yeah, I think it's 80, Four lane? 85. Boy, that's NASCAR right there. I'm telling you. Well, shit, all of Texas has no speed limit. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, their, count, their county roads are 65. Yeah. yeah. City roads. You can, do 80, <laughs> you can do 80 in your driveway. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. But it, it's crazy, though, that, I mean, even up north, I'll tell you this, I've worked a lot in the north U.S. during the winter and things like that. Their road maintenance, when it snows, shit. Bar none. I mean, they are the fucking well, best. We had yeah. some – we yeah. went to – we went from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania a couple months back. We had a rental car. He fell asleep, and I got into New York. Mm-hmm. And there was some really good roads. And then I had that little, I was it a Honda Accord or a Civic? or I don't know what it was. I, don't I was running car. 125 through New York, just buzzing. It's good roads. I'm telling you what, though, but I'm talking about snow. It snows here where we're at here. No, the fair. whole state shuts down for three days. Yeah, one, one, one snowflake. snowflake. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. done. It, it can snow 12, 14, 16 inches of snow up there in the north, and you won't even fucking see it in the road next morning as long as you don't. If because you leave here, at eight, you're good to go. Here, we have no salt <laughs> trucks. We have no, no plows. plows no, no, I wouldn't so use it snows what you're a little saying. Bit. If it snows here, the state people can't get to work. On what you're saying, so I'm flying from... Dallas to Chicago. In Dallas, if it snows half an inch, every plane is grounded. Yeah, you, right. ain't, you ain't taking off in Dallas. It can be a blizzard of a Chicago. Yeah. So we left, we left Dallas like 60 degrees. Yeah. We're approaching Chicago. There's 14 foot of snow. And they're landing <laughs> this plane. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, what is he doing? Like, you can't yeah. do this. But it's normal up there. That's normal. He slid yeah. right in. They have snow banks taller than the airplane. Oh, left yeah. and right sides of you. They don't care. It was normal. Not at all. Fact. But. Best roads, good roads, everything. Louisiana's worst five, and I mean, pretty much everywhere else is Oklahoma, Louisiana, um, Columbus, Ohio uh, has been working on their fucking interstate. Houston, Texas. Every time I've ever went through there, ever. Houston and parts, Dallas are parts bad. Parts uh, Arkansas, not that good either. Yeah, the Arkansas used to be Little bad towns. going from Bastrop to where you're. It's nice. Right? I really played that like whole thing. Like talking with Cajun earlier, the uh, most of the roads in the Ozarks up there where he's living, they're all dirt. 
Yeah. They're still better than the roads here. They are. Yeah. They are. They're just dirt roads. Oh, the best roads up there are dirt. Yeah. yeah I mean, most Absolutely. of the counter roads are still dirt. But something that was cool, when I was living up there and noticed, here, we build roads up. Right. In the Ozarks, they that, cut roads down right. to the to the solid Hard bedrock. Rock, yeah. Right. So. That's crazy, though. A lot different. And not very far geographically away from each other. A couple of hours. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not far. Let's talk about this bedrock thing. You go through Missouri, right? Yeah. And you're going and you see the roads cut out of the rock. Mm -hmm. So I'm in uh, Paris, Texas the other night. And I go downtown to eat in the buildings and the architecture. And I'm thinking about these roads and these architectures back in the day. These men built these things with their hands. And now we can't fix a Shreveport. Oh yeah, like, well, Shreveport, Shreveport just I didn't 20, give a fuck. The That's interstate like that. through Shreveport is so bad it it literally you will tear your truck up. Oh, yeah. yeah, even the bypass loop is bad now. Oh, it's horrible. It is. But speaking of places, best and worst place to work. I have worked a lot of places. I've worked upstate New York. I've worked West Coast, Los Angeles. We're talking states or very specific on mine. I will tell you, I've worked in Atlanta. I've worked all across the U.S. over six, seven years. I mean, I've I've got some pretty fucking good miles on I mean places I've been and worked Lake Charles Louisiana is the worst place I have ever stayed worked or anything <laughs> I hate that place with a burning fucking passion there's a plant there. what's so bad about Lake Charles what is the Louisiana? plant because everything got good insurance. everything yeah, I've everything. never I've never worked a shutdown in Lake Charles where I started the shutdown and I ended the shutdown with the same windows that was in my fucking vehicle when I showed yeah. up. Wow. Because <laughs> them bitches get busted out. What is the name of the plant time. in Lake Charles? There's, right when you come in from the orange area, there's a plant to your right, I think. Well, I know when you go over the bridge to the right, that's Sassol. And that's where I Sassol. always worked. Yeah. I that, always worked at Sassol. That's got to be in my top three worst places to work. That mother, so the plant was never bad. It had a lot of rules. The plant was always good. It but was because everything, of the rules it was bad. Because everything else around it. Where we would stay in a gated fucking hotel mm. that they guaranteed our shit wouldn't get broke into. We'd go inside to take a piss, come back outside, and our windshield be laying on the ground. The only place you're safe in Lake wow. Charles is a casino. I don't know about That's that. Yeah, I don't know. You leave without your money any either way. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they might take your take money, it. but <laughs> your vehicle's still gonna be in a parking lot. Yeah, I ain't worried about yeah. the fucking casino taking my money in Lake Charles either. I'm worried about the motherfucking parking lot. So we're talking about we're talking <laughs> about traveling the yeah. U.S. and working and all the stuff you've done, but yeah, uh, Cajun, you actually was similar lifestyle before you started all this cooking stuff yeah right? yeah we, we traveled all over i'd say <clears throat> me personally the worst place i ever worked and i can honestly say i'll never go back is uh new mexico really uh, albuquerque oh yeah yeah fuck albuquerque <laughs> well what what was it is it the tents or the huts or the what do they call them adobes adobes i guess everything we, we stayed in a, a gated campground gated community because you had to because we had to you have to and still woke up and had three dirt bikes stole out the back of a truck cut the fence i'm telling you yeah that's where they did breaking bad i mean fuck. Yeah, no. all i'm saying is pretty much lake charles the theft the violence the every fucking thing the food's not that great now the food honestly sucks. it's not i mean you got to leave lake charles yeah to go down the road to a fucking country town to get good food i think it you got to go all the way to crowley before you start yeah. getting back to louisiana but you say all this new mexico lake charles all these things but if you actually look at the rankings and the studies monroe louisiana is number one on highest crime rate per capita well yeah but it's in that one spot yeah, but it's in that one spot that's we what i'm saying there. like you can you can walk down the road in monroe west monroe during the middle of the night with chains and fucking money in your hand as long as you're not on that road right, <laughs> right. i mean yeah. you can walk down yeah. that road in a fucking pair of boxers and get mugged on that road <laughs> they don't give a <laughs> yeah. fuck over there yeah. yeah lake charles is like the whole fucking don't matter where you're at that's bad yeah, yeah no it is bad i'll tell you about one of the best places i've worked Hands down, without a doubt, Central Ohio. Yeah. Because it is just so, it doesn't get hot. Like, 85 is their summer. It doesn't get too terribly cold. Like, it's in the teens. It snows. They have mountains. There's a lake They're every fucking way. It. Yeah. They're they have a great infrastructure on roads. Yeah. There's a lake every 10 miles. Uh, that place up there is like Nature Park Trail here, lake here. Ran a ski boat here, ran a bicycle here. And they have. A Where are we talking about? Central Ohio. Yeah, we did a Ohio. job in Canton, or just out of Canton. Canton. Ohio. I was in I was in Mansfield, Ohio. That's not but far actually, from Canton. That's actually where we stayed, Mansfield. Mansfield There's a little plant. Great. There's a little plant right there. Yeah, I did some work in that plant. Did you go to? I uh, stayed at the KOA. 
I stayed on the opposite end of town. You know that uh, the Holiday Inn across from the uh, Bob Evans or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The Amish, the, uh, the Amish restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I stayed right across from the Amish restaurant. I'm fucking glad y'all had a family reunion up in this place. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wish they, that, I, that's, that area right there. was awesome, man. It was, it, it was, there's so much work there, too. Yeah. I worked at the – did you work at the big blue buildings that uh, – No, this was uh, – what was uh, – there's a lot it up there. It was a gas though. plant. Yeah, we, we were doing some. We went and did a bunch of pipe work in there, up in a uh, laying pipe at the gas plant. I'm telling you, man. There's there's so much work in that small condensed area. Yeah. It's about an hour north of Columbus, Ohio. There's one of so my best, much work there. One of my best places was North Carolina, just because of the the mountains, the the scenery, the weather. The scenery's beautiful. It was beautiful. It is. My, I would say my favorite place I ever worked is is probably Pennsylvania. I like I like parts Wasn't of Pennsylvania. Me. Went during the winter, ruined me. Hated it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, too fucking cold. Yeah. It's no, too I cold. agree. I yeah, agree. They, they I, I managed cold. to I managed to do to get the hell out before yeah. the winter every year. I was there January, February, March. No, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. I remember why, flying up there in <laughs> February, and they gave that me right a. That right there is why I hate Wyoming. North, I remember North flying Dakota? to Pennsylvania in February, and they gave me a Camaro convertible yeah. as my rental car, and it said negative eighteen degrees on the radio. It was ice growing inside the car. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do shit. Can't do shit. We went to we went to Gillette, Gillette, Wyoming, mm. and uh, that's, that, that's the armpit of fucking coldness. The wind up there too. Oh my god, it was crazy. Is it, and was that the like best a man months. can get? Or overall, oh, the, the I can't shape. imagine the weather being much worse than it is right here. Oh, oh shit! No, this ain't, ain't just, shit. This ain't nothing. The, the only thing mm. I would say, yeah, but they have I, I they have wrong. more good times than bad. No, they right? don't. Oh, no, 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 they no. don't. No, they got winter. <laughs> they got winter like nine yeah, months. Blizzards, yeah. freezing yeah. rains, mudslides. I, all that I was in I was in North uh, Dakota. I was there for like now three that was, weeks. That was pretty. We didn't. We weren't working, but that was pretty when we went to Sturgis. That's yeah, a pretty that country. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's a whole different world. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I was there in um, April. I think April. Oh, when fuck. I was going through North Dakota for two weeks. When you would get where you're going to like a restaurant or something like that, they would have people outside the restaurant that worked for the restaurant come out with heat guns so they could open your doors. Because while you were driving, if it, there was anything falling, it wow. would freeze your door shut with a yeah. half inch thick of fucking ice. And you, it was so fucking cold up there. And so, the funny well, thing is, while this winter, is going on, they're playing tennis. The tennis courts yeah. are heated, the floors, and People they're melting and driving fun. through there in snow like we eight, had, ten foot high, and they're out there playing tennis. I stayed at a hotel up there, really nice hotel. I think it was like a Marriott Inn or something. It was fucking nice. And they're like, yeah, the pool's open from uh, eight to four every day. I'm like, Fuck bitch, you. it's fucking three degrees. Shit, right. I spent a winter in New Jersey. Yeah. And it was, I mean. The heated pools, people the, out there swimming. When I'm we're like, driving, when we're driving, I'm talking about, like, this first time, I didn't even know it existed. Waves in the ocean were frozen. Like, wave come up and freeze there. <laughs> like, it's cold. There was people but out there. The ocean did not, was frozen. It's like it Al did, Gore shit. It did yeah. not feel cold. <sighs> Like everybody's all bundled up that lives there, but we wasn't really that bundled well, it was up because there. it's that humidity because factor, it, right? Yeah, that's, because here it's so wet and cold. That's something I was gonna say. Yeah. Like we went to Wyoming and it was cold. I mean, it was it was fucking miserable. Yeah, but it would warm up to 10, 12 degrees. No wind blowing. You could walk out with a hoodie, and you were comfortable. The wind would blow and it'd be 40 degrees. You couldn't put enough clothes on. So funny story, we in, we in Wyoming on a job and I call Angel. She's at the campground and I tell her, I said, I'm going to be there in about five, 10 minutes. We'll run to town, get, get food, you know, get groceries. She's in the shower. So she jumps out the shower. She dries off. She gets dressed. I pull up. She walks about 30 feet, 30, 40 feet to my truck, mm -hmm. gets in. Her fucking hair is frozen. I'm telling you. Wow. It, it was 17 yeah. below zero at like 65 below wind chill. Me and my dad was crazy. Yeah. Colorado deer hunting, and we took four bags of ice, and we were in a horse trader, had living quarters in the front, and we had feather pillows too. Somebody on the live said, nobody is coming out to open your door. In the middle, <laughs> in the middle of the night, we heard these gunshots. Just tush, tush, tush. It was soda cans blowing up in the coolers. Yeah. Our fro our pillows froze on the inside of the trailer and we came back with eleven bags of ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit. It was cold. Yeah. That's good shit. I'll tell you what though. Working, I would always prefer heat than cold. 
any day of the week because I can sweat, but I can't fucking stay. Warm. I used to like the well, cold I, over the hot, but now that I'm getting older, I'm I don't, I don't like being it. a welder. Being a welder, I always worked ass backwards. Yeah, for me anyway, I always went up north in the winter, and and it was because this to me, if you're working outside, especially you know in in ditches where they're digging ditches and you're down in the ground, yeah, it's never cold enough to freeze. Mm-hmm. So it's wet. And it's fucking cold enough that if you're wet, it sucks. Oh, yeah. So well, I always would go north in the winter, and it comes south for the summer. I've yeah. always preferred the cold because you could always get warm. You know, start a fire, get a jacket, get oh, a blanket, I don't whatever. There's some days you I can't, couldn't get warm. You couldn't always cool down. But now that I'm getting older, like, joints are hurting and shit, like, happens. Like, I, I don't like I've always preferred the heat over the cold. I don't. I love the heat. I love the heat. But back to best and worst. We got to touch on beer at least one time because we talk about it a lot. And I mean, you're you know, trying eventually, hard to get that sponsorship, ain't you? eventually, Coors y'all are going to come over. You're, Coors Light is the worst. You are not the person to give beer advice. Yes, I am. You're not. Pabst Blue Ribbon this is, is the, the best beer. This is the same guy that said uh, Milwaukee's best was, was a good, good beer. Even Pabst Blue drink Ribbon is like the potted <laughs> meat of beer. <laughs> I like potted meat. Look, Pabst Blue Ribbon beer is my is probably my favorite beer. It is the beer that I drink. It is the beer that I buy, and it is my top three beers. It's number one. Cajun said the guy that brews Milwaukee's best don't drink it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he's he's not classy. Not. Did you find the bottles? I have not found. Pipes for really makes they bottles. Exist. They do. They do. He's, I sent the picture. There was a guy. Like glass that, bottle. Yes, yeah. they make ponies. He said they got. Perhaps blue ribbon in a glass Are you talking bottle. about a waste of fucking glass? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's telling good. You. I'm telling you. Could you perhaps perhaps yeah. in a can's fucking good. No. But perhaps in a bottle, I know that shit's great. Well, get you no. like a six-pack of Miller Lite. If you get a six-pack of Miller Lite, put it in the back of your truck and leave it for a month. Yeah. And then go open it up and you got Pat's blue ribbon. Nah, no, nah, because anything aged is better. I, I will say this mm. in your defense, John. Uh, uh he ain't gonna taste buds? No. His mama I would, didn't I raise him right. Pabst Blue Ribbon before I drank Budweiser, Miller. Nah. Yeah. I, I might I, drink Pabst before I, I drink Miller. I can't Miller. handle any of Mil- To me, a, Miller tastes like ass. I don't even It tastes it's, like it's, copper pennies well, to me. I'm going to tell you a funny story. I used to be a very big beer drinker. Like, yeah. I drank a lot of beer. And I thought that I could tell the difference between all these beers on this challenge they had on TikTok. Yeah. Well, they set it up. And put this challenge out, and it was Bud Light, Ultra, Miller, um, Coors Light, Bud, uh, Budweiser, and Natural Light or something like that. I got Bud Light because that was the main ger- beer I drank. I could get Ultra and Budweiser. Dude, you couldn't. I couldn't I could tell. Definitely get Bud I Wiser. could not tell Budweiser from Miller. I couldn't tell I Miller could. from anything yeah. else. Them Red Wasps be stinging. I, I said the same <laughs> thing, yeah. but then I, I don't remember who it, it was that yeah. told me that – when your eyes are taken out of the equation, your taste buds change. Hmm. If you're looking at the beer, like if I look at a Miller, I already know what it kind of tastes like because I've had it before, and my eyes see it's Miller, so I taste Miller. Yeah. When you put them in that box and you can't see them, I'm telling you, you could not tell these fucking beers Is that why we turn the lights off at night? Maybe. 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 Who knows? I like to leave them on. Well, I mean, you know, you could sometimes go hit that old electric fence. (laughs) Ooh. Shit fire. This guy know. on the live said uh, that's the who stopped by the hog trough beer. PBR. <laughs> I, thought PBR. He said, I thought he said hot dog water, but it's, it's PBR is a top tier beer no matter what. And they are making a comeback. Yeah, PBR. They are, I mean, the only know, place they're to... making a comeback is your house. Yeah. <laughs> PBR in the last five years has become an old man's fucking cheap beer. To now, it is emerging as a good beer again. Uh, Ten, it's just Ten because years of inflation. Ago, it's on. just inflation. That's all it is. <laughs> Ten years ago, you didn't even find it in a store, hardly. It's coming back. It's yeah. everywhere and now. And now I see it just about everywhere I go. I'm starting because to see it in more inflation. restaurants. Yeah. Where else can you get 30 yeah. pack for six bucks? I mean, a gas station. Uh, yeah. PBR. PBR, I, natural I'm light, a, same thing. I'd when, rather drink buttermilk. When same they stuff. made their, when, when PBR two years ago, Made their ninety nine can box. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good that, marketing. That right there shot them the fuck up. They just came out uh, a couple months ago, the first of this year, with a thirteen ninety two. 
You can get well, 1,392 cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon for like every guy, 500 plus. Every blue collar <laughs> guy wants to walk out of a convenience store like this, yeah. just holding his thousand beers. I want him so to So, Cajun, fuck, if you're going to have a palette. beer, if you're going to sit down and have a beer this evening, what beer would you buy? Coors, Coors Light. Coors Light. I just like, Water. I'm, just not a, I'm a Coors Banquet kind of guy, but I'm not a Coors Light guy. Yeah, but see, here's the difference. Most, you know, I, I do think everybody just acquires a taste. Yeah. Oh, I agree. If you drink mm. anything, you know, because yeah. I've worked with guys that, you know, of course, five people drank Miller and one guy drinks Bud, so he don't buy Bud, he just drinks their Miller. Yeah. yeah. And in mm. a year, he swears Miller's the best beer. Yeah. Because that's all he's been drinking. Yep. yep. But, I've done the same thing. I drank Bud Light. That was my beer. Yeah. Uh, Chip started buying Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra has a chokehold on the I, fucking I, beer drinking community. Well, it's got, I it's drink less, it for a little carbs. while. There's no carbs, hardly any carbs. And in now, it. if I stop for a beer, I grab an Ultra. That's, I, that's the same beer that they always use women in the commercials. Yeah. <laughs> Still do. They just seem to have beards. Well, they have to use women because real men don't drink Coors Light. Oh. I'll tell you what, though. Coors Banquet. Yeah. It's always going to be yeah, one of my favorite beers. Yeah, you're watching Smokey and the Bandit. I love Coors Banquet. Yeah, no, I do too. Why and it? the tall boy Coors Banquets? Yeah. And the ponies? Don't even get me started on ponies. But what see, is here it with the you and though, beers? You're I'm drinking not. all this beer. What you got to do is you got to have a mason jar. Full of, of crown clear, apple? Of clear. Ooh, oh, shit, fire. And, and you drink, uh, you drink your beer and you sip on that. I'm gonna say, I, just, I, I drink some whiskey. He's a big crown apple guy. I whiskey all the time. But... Somebody made some moonshine that's in our family, and they put the fruit in the bottom of the jar. Oh, fuck that. And I didn't know it. They gave it to me, and I'm just tipping it back. Well, this fruit's coming. I just start eating this fucking fruit. Like, hey, that's, that's pretty good. That's about like about, a, about 45 minutes later, she was picking me up off the fucking <laughs> interstate or the highway, wherever we were. I was done, son. <laughs> yeah, I can't stomach moonshine. Yeah. I just Burns me up. It. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, we say I think y'all have had a lot of store-bought. No, this no, is, no, we had homemade. Or just had some shit at work. Well, you remember I lived I about just, five miles from where you live now. Yeah. So yeah. I was up there, and just about every one of them boys up there makes some kind of shine. It's just too hot for me. But, I don't like to take three sips and be black out. Yeah, I don't like my throat <laughs> yeah, burning. It's, it's just too much. You don't, I don't get like to my enjoy throat sipping burning. on it. I don't mind sipping on it, but if it's like turpentine, I don't want to no, drink no. it. And it's, no, and that's the thing. I think a lot of people, you know, when you when you actually distilling – It'll come out of there, you know, it may be hitting 160, 170. Mm-hmm. And that's, I mean, that will burn the so fuck out So what is that, like yeah. two yeah. shots and you're asleep? No, I mean, it's, you, can only, you can't even enjoy it. It's like it, rubbing alcohol. Yes. Yeah. But you cut it and you get it set right. I like Where do to, you set it? I like to set mine at about 130. Good. That's still Chris, hot. I cut it. Them boys, hot. Them boys up in the Ozarks, they'll bring their, their jar out. They used to bring it out and they're like, oh, you... The way you test it, and they'd pour a little bit of it out and light it. Yeah. It's got to be a blue flame. You got to have a blue yeah. flame. That means it's- you get it real hot, it won't be a flame at all. You'll burn your damn hand and it won't see a flame. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what well, temperature is that? Too yeah, fucking about hot. About 170. The last, <laughs> no, the last podcast, you said you could take your hand and just feel hot, cold. Oh, yeah. It oh, it, it, I guarantee you, it's hitting 450. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. What, what I like to do is I'll get the mason jar shine or whatever, be pretty hot, too hot. And then you take that thing there and you pour it into about a gallon of Kool-Aid and you just keep sipping and pouring more Kool-Aid in. By the time you get to nothing but Kool-Aid, you don't even know it's Kool-Aid. My that, wife that drinks What's that moonshine you drink? If you want to if you want to wake up, feel something cold on your shoulder, Smoky? look up and it's the floor. Yeah. Get you a bottle, get you a mason jar of blackberry moonshine. Mhm. And dump it into a gallon of country time lemonade. So that shit sounds good huh. right there. And put it on ice, and you'll sip it like it's just uh, lemonade. My wife's been getting this Smokies But, but after about two of them, and it's banana somebody pudding. else would be dragging your ass inside. Yeah, yeah. She got this banana pudding smoky yeah. stuff. We've that had that, shit that is good. My, my yeah, wife's been good. drinking that. That's what she's been taking all the rides We get the yeah. sipping cream, the sipping shine. Yes. Yeah, that's what there it is. There was another flavor that was good, too, but I don't remember what. I don't no, know. No, it was banana pudding and something else. Probably sipping cream. I don't know. Strawberry I, I, shortcake. Ooh, shit fire. Maybe. Blueberry muffin. There it is. I'll tell you what, though. Either way, though, to round it up, my personal best beer, I like a cheap beer, but PBR preferably. Worst thing to drink is IPA. I don't know who does it. Yeah, I don't do IPA. I just can't no. do it. My favorite beer would be a, a, a really cold Bud Light. Yeah. 
then I would go the to The colder, Ultra. the better, too. I like, the, yeah. But the worst beer, to me, it's probably Slits. And I don't even know if they make it anymore. I, they still they make, make Slits. slits. I like yeah. Slits. Slits yeah, isn't bad. Oh, shit, no. I'll mm-hmm. get Slits when I go through Texas. It's not bad beer. What I'm going to do is have John text me a... Uh, a list of what beers he likes, <laughs> so I'll know to never fucking look for him. Yeah, that's <laughs> yes. bad. Have yes. you drank Lone Star? Yeah, I like Lone Star. Lone Star's not bad. It's no, good. Lone, Lone, Lone Star's Star. pretty good. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. Um, Shinerbach. Yeah, good beer. Shinerbach. Yeah, get it out of Texas. It's got Bach. a horse. Nah, my, my favorite Bach. beer. My favorite beer ever, and they don't make it anymore. Is Samuel Adams Light. I don't guess I've ever seen that one. They, they only sold it in Pennsylvania. Did you ever have a Pearl? No. I heard Pearl. Pearl. Did this look like a Pearl body? <laughs> well, my, no, I'm just remembering beers. When I was young, my dad drank Pearl, mm-hmm. and then they discontinued. He started drinking Slits, and then he went from Slits to Budweiser. Hmm. So. Yeah, my dad drank the little ponies. What's the uh, little Miller ponies? Big ass fucking cans. My dad drank refrigerators. <laughs> full of beer. <laughs> What's them big ass fucking cans? They're beer, like big ass cans. Tall just boys? Stin all, they're just fat fucking cans, Cold regular size cans. Uh, Regular I know, size can. A blue can, aren't they? What blue? are you talking about? Something, but it's a huge fucking. It's like a twenty-four ounce can. Yeah, it's not tall. No, it's no. just bigger yeah, around. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen that. Are you talking uh, pony kegs? No, it's not a pony keg. I can't remember what kind of beer it is, but I've drank those, and I think that's probably one of the worst beers I've ever had. Who makes a short, fat beer? It's uh, it's very very rare to see. I always see it in Texas and little. Isn't sh- it? It's got a kind of a blue label with like a brown strip around the top. Maybe of I've seen I've seen two or three different kinds of it. Because they'll have flavors, and mm. it's terrible. It's absolutely fucking terrible. I get some every time I get some. Yeah, just like Every time it. I see it, I get some. You don't drink that tomato shit, do you? What's that, Micheladas? Yeah. Uh, I'll yeah, fuck them up, baby. He, I will fuck them no, up. I, can't I do love it. them. That is what my wife drinks on every mm-hmm. ride. I yeah. can't do they the, got bloody, a little the booze. Bloody Mary's. Can't do it. Bloody Mary with uh, beer, that's all it is. The Sabine, Sabine River Run. River Run, Mud Park. They got a little booth that comes and sets up. Michelada mixes. and all. So I get the shrimp or the caliente. It's just some tomato juice, some clamato, some shrimp spices and stuff like that. Pour it in your beer. It's like getting slapped in the mouth of a fucking fish plate. Have you ever done a <laughs> you ever done great. a boiler maker? Cage, you done a boiler maker? No. So you take a beer and pop it up and drink a quarter of it out, top it off with whiskey. Mm-hmm. Boiler makers. They're pretty good. I'll tell you what though. I just can't drink a fucking IPA. Cajun, where is the best and worst place to eat? Best and worst place. We talking chain foods or like yeah. just in general? Or well, we're gonna, you're gonna. I guess you're gonna have to include chain let's, food. Let's do no, chain let's, foods first. Best and worst chain. We'll do chain foods. food. Then I want to go to actual food itself. Oh yeah, for sure. Different regions is a big key. Uh, I will start this one off. Bob Evans, Chick Fil A. Oh come on, I like Chick Fil A. Why would you like Chick Fil A? Why? Because it's like the only thing out there that's not just hammered shit. <laughs> It's oh, God's that's your best. Chicken. Yeah, that's okay. my best. Okay, I thought yeah. that was your worst. No, no, that's my best. Chick Fil A's pretty God's good. God's chicken. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, the service alone. I yeah. mean, my pleasure. He said my pleasure the whole time. Yeah. Yes. The the crazy thing is, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but all of them I've been to, especially here in West Monroe, They're they good. will have two lines of cars. You can't pull in the parking lot. No, they have but four you lines. You will have your food. They have four lines. He opened up another store beside it. Well, yeah, they got and the other one behind. It's crazy, but yeah, you literally you've got forty cars in front of you, and you will have your food in five minutes. They're good. And listen, I don't know what they pay these people that work there. I don't they know don't, how they find pretty them. good. But I've I've made pretty good money, and I've never smiled that fucking much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean they're I always the happy. They are happy. People. They are yeah. happy. Huh? And they're always in a good mood. We have a lot of employees here, and we have a lot of badass employees here, but. They give they them scholarships. Ain't back there saying my pleasure every five Chick-fil-A. months. Chick-fil-A. She, she said they give them. Down. She said they yeah. give them scholarships. So uh, they get yeah, paid sure. and they give them scholarships. So they're working for their college tuition. So they're no, and, that's their pretty, and that's pretty awesome because, like you said, you know, you, you, they didn't do it in one store. No, they did. It's across, across the, board. the board. I don't care where you go. The it's service the is the same, and the food is always the good. Same, is, yeah, the food's always. In, my, in West Monroe, the worst one is Popeyes. Well, here. Oh, it's it's good. And I don't care if there's the one car in a drive through or there's horrible. 50 cars in a drive through It's 45 fucking minutes before you get yeah. in. And they're going and then, to tell you, can you pull, pull up, up over there and wait? Yep. And then the people are going to come up and knock on your passion window and beg for money while you're in the line. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I was this, gonna, I was going to say Arkansas, just about any McDonald's where we live. Yeah. Any McDonald's. Well, that's all horrible food. Nobody, nobody in the parking lot. 
and you pull up to the window and they'll say, could you please pull over there and wait? And I'm like, yes. wait you know on you, what? There's so nobody They got here. a little timer in there. You don't have to. Right? No, you don't. I just fucking sit there. I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah. But they have a little <laughs> timer on your car and whoever the manager, whatever, they rate their performance off how fast they get cars through the drive through so when they pull up and they get you to move up, it looks like you came and went. Oh, I'm fixing to fuck that up. Well, so am oh, I, yeah. and my and my <laughs> he local. Said he, he said, "Fuck them." My local McDonald's. I'm not pulling up anymore. Nah, they they nah. will do that shit. You will fucking pay when you get to the next window. They hand you a drink. Go ahead and pull it for me. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna sit here. They're what? I'm like, I'm gonna sit here yeah. and wait on my fuck. And then they'll just hand me the fucking food. Yeah, because they're gonna spit in it. Yeah. yeah. You don't. You don't ever. Yeah, I don't be fuck rude with food before you get your. Food. I don't fuck, fuck that. with food. No. If you don't want to go there, just don't go well, back. Well, that's what I'm saying, don't though. I, like, well, I don't, say, I'll be honest. I don't eat it. I mean, Chick-fil-A is about the only place we'll stop and eat. And other than that, I'll go to, like, crack a barrel or something. Yeah, we kind of mentioned it, it while ago. But here, the Chick-fil-A, we had a drive through only Chick-fil-A. It had a line around both sides of the building. There was nowhere to sit and eat. The owners bought the property next door, built a really big Chick-fil-A with inside dining, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. It was so busy they could not close the drive through that was next door. Yeah. So they had literally a Chick-fil-A next door to each other. And, and both, we pro- got both a, profitable. About, oh, yeah. About yeah. a year a and a half. With a question. About a year and a half into that, they had to close it. It needed to be remodeled, all that. So he closed it and tore it down, rebuilt it, a brand new one. So there is two brand new Chick-fil-A's right next each door other. to each other. Same owner. We got yeah. a Stephen... Somebody, I can't read his last name here. What beer would you drink if you were stranded on an island? Uh, whatever beer I could Fuck, find. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I, drink, whatever. I drink hot monkey piss. If yeah. I, was dehydrated. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, whatever floated up. What, yeah. the hell, what the hell is Red Horse beer? Red Horse? I've never heard of that. I never heard of it. They said we should try that. There it's were really, several people on here that commented Foster's. I don't Foster's, think I've ever Foster's is one. a good beer. Foster's yeah. is Australian for beer. That's the big can. That's what it is. That's. That's why they That's said Foster's. Cause I'm sorry, I couldn't me. hear you. That is the big can, the blue can. With yeah, the, the big ass fucking can. Australians cans. always blowing shit up. But I always, and I always get some. That's, that's all right. I mean, it's kind of shit, but, yeah. you know, whatever. You, would, you can you can go from drinking a cold, cold beer yeah. and it being, you know, oh, it's not bad, and halfway down it gets warm oh, or, and it turns to total shit. Yep. I can tell you right now, I am not the guy that's going to drink a, even lukewarm beer. I'll I'm drink a not, hot beer. I'm not drinking a room temperature beer. Well, I'll drink I will, I will drink a hot. Cold. I will drink or finish a beer if it's warm or hot, right. simply because I grew up and the man taught me that if I didn't finish his beer after he whooped my ass, I was never drinking another beer with him. So, so you finished your beer, yeah. but well, I finished my beer, but I'm gonna finish it while it's cold. If it's and cold, if you offer me a beer and it's sitting in a flat on the floor right there, <laughs> I'm not taking it. it if it is thirsty, cold yeah. outside, if it is cold outside, I'll drink hot beer. That's disgusting. That's, hey, that's, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So, like, my disgusting. ice test, we just did this pass. We did the little mud route the other day, Muddy Bottoms, right? Yeah, the little I mud put, Yeah, I put one bag of ice on my bear third Wednesday. Yeah. I didn't ice shit down there. twenty thousand dollars worth of I, bikes getting repaired. He's talking about the little no. the little event we did over there. Yeah, right. I worked. I worked with a guy that would buy beer, and if it was cold, he would rub it in his hand till it got warm. Yep. What is a wheat beer? Most beer, wheat beer. Every beer there. has wheat and hops in it. I thought who fucking knows? Barley and hops. Anyway, but back to food. Best chain food restaurant, in my opinion, that's pretty much always kind of... It's got to be Chick-fil-A. Generic. Well, Chick-fil-A is good, yes. I mean, the consistency is always the same. It never changes. I, I'm a big Golden Corral guy. Mm. To me, that's I not a Golden fast Corral. food chain, though. It's, uh, it is. Not, it not is, bad, but... I, I will say. Uh, it's... Because you know what you're going to get when you walk in. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And you can get a lot of it. And you can get a lot of it. And, I mean, yeah. honestly, you know, you go over there to the little steak bar, you get... 80, 82 four ounce steaks. I mean, it's a pretty good meal. You know? <laughs> where, where are you at? Golden Corral. They got the steak bar. Golden Corral. I thought you said uh, Cracker Barrel in my head. Cracker Barrel's good. <clears throat> Cracker Barrel's a great restaurant. Cracker it's just Barrel, not. Cracker Barrel, it's, they've got the best uh, hash brown casserole. Oh, yeah. I like well, the Cracker Barrel ones. is a hit and miss. Yeah. And every town, they're different. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes the food is amazing, well, and sometimes like it's not that great. Waterburg, I find, I find they went to shit last. Well, you went to the wrong one. You, you got to go to the miss. right one. Yeah. They're hitting mess. I'm not a fan of Waterburger. I don't know. The one in Monroe, I don't know if they just changed cooks or what they did. How yeah. old but is it? That bitch is is good. Uh, about a year and a half, two years old. 
I thought it was Whataburger. The one about books a million? Yeah, it hadn't been here long. Oh, shit, has it not? Mm-hmm. I thought it's been here for a while. Uh, it might, maybe three years. Maybe ten years, because I was going to that bitch after the club. Yeah. Was it ten years? <laughs> okay. That's been a long time. Well, they've time. changed cooks or something, because that bitch is, is yeah. on point right I'll now. You, I'll, I'll tell you, probably, I'd have to say the worst, and it's fucking super popular, super duper popular, probably the worst food. It's terrible. I don't know why the fuck people go there. It's straight ass. Sonic. I do not like Sonic. Mm. It sucks. I can eat Sonic. I can eat shit. I can fuck some Sonic up right now. So I don't, I don't, I don't eat. Sonic. I don't like Sonic. I don't I, like I Sonic. The burgers are greasy and nasty. The tater tots are either overcooked mm. or they're just fucking cold. Uh, they're chili. You can actively tell that it may have been dog food. <laughs> it may have been dog food. To me, the worst place to eat is these damn Captain D's or Long John Silver's. Oh, or that yeah. fish I don't even go with them bitches. I never do that. I'm no. not going to a fast food seafood place <laughs> ever. No, absolutely yeah. not. I'll go through a drive through crawfish shack, but I ain't yeah. Long John's. You know, like I'm, I got standards a <laughs> yeah. little bit. Yeah, and that, and then the other thing is the Johnny's Pizza where they dipped a pizza in the fucking cheese sauce. Oh, That's I just because you're I love it so freaking much. weird. No, I love Johnny's, Johnny's pizza. pizza is amazing. As a matter of fact, went to a high school football game and brought some nacho cheese home and dipped their fucking pizza in it. Right 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 as a matter of fact, right I think right the lady was. sitting over there ought to order oh, Johnny's no, right now. Gonna, no, so that we Johnny's, can no, no, Johnny's no. sweep Meat. the kitchen is the best fucking it's pizza not, I ever made. It's not bad pizza, yeah, but it's not the best. It is the best. Brick oven pizza's better. There are pizza yeah, where huts we get that, though? Hunt's Brothers is better. Red Baron is Hunt's better. Hunt's Brothers pizza in a gas station is top tier. Red Baron classics in the freezer section. Ooh, them bitches are good. So what's, where's the best place to get an actual hamburger? Right here? Anywhere. I'm saying what's like. That, what's that place we eat? Uh, What's right here, place? the burger grind is the closest place. Now, yeah, you go yeah. to, Are you just talking about fast food chain? No, yeah, like you go chain, to like Iron where Cactus. Would, where would be your best? I'm saying chain. Where would be uh, your chain? best place to get a water burger? Get no. a burger? No. No. Water burger. On no. your chains, it would be water burger or Jack in the Box. I would. I'm a hate to say it. Oh, but well, I, Burger I love King, Wendy's. Burger King's that flame bro. I've, I've got to go with Five Guys. Eh, we five, have five Guys. guys. It's overrated for me. It's not very good here. Really? That's not. Yeah. Man, that's I, not. did it close down? Yeah. Good. Now, Burger King, that, that's they get one that, of my favorite uh, places to get a hamburger. flame bro taste. Man, you cost you an arm and a leg. Ooh. Don't yeah, get it's wrong. expensive. Nah. Yeah. You yeah. got to go to flame bro taste with Burger King, though. That's what that's I was That's a good burger. Is, if I'm going to go to a fast food place and get a yeah. hamburger, I have you, like Have you had a Bacon King? Burger King. Burger King, yeah. The Bacon King is meat, bacon, cheese, ketchup, mayonnaise. It's and my good. absolute What's your worst? worst, the worst is burger, McDonald's. I'm, McDonald's. I'm, yeah. I'm not I, getting. I, I agree. I like, a, I like a spicy McChicken now. I no, you said burger. That's the best no, thing no, I got. Yeah. Burger. Chicken, yeah. The burgers. Mm-mm. Yeah, McDonald's is the worst. Yeah. The, Wendy's is really close you can to it taste because how processed it is. I don't yeah. know what happened to Wendy's. Wendy's used to be really good, Wendy's but here lately uh, they are they're chinchy on the sauce. The yeah. for some reason the burgers got smaller. I mean, am I wrong? No, they no, used to, no, used to get a baconator that yeah. used to be it's fucking like this. Huge. Now you get a baconator that's like a junior baconator. The boxes baconator. were huge. The boxes used to be, have to be folded sideways and fucking yes. bag to fit in that bitch. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We I just really had know. our assistant get Wendy's the other day and uh, got us baconators. And it was like this. It was like, it's I mean, like, what the fuck is this? Tiny. And, now, and now they're not $5, they're seven fifty. Oh, yes. Yeah. 14, $9.50. 14, yeah, $14 if you want fries. Everything's high now, dude. Yep. Everything. I'll tell you, what. I'll tell you what. let's skip. Right. Since we're on food subject. Let's just keep it real general here. Okay. Where's the best region of the country to eat at? South. I would say since South Central. Yes. Central yes. U.S. Absolutely. in the South. Positively somewhere South. somewhere South between. Central. Texas, Louisiana, well, Arkansas, Missouri. I'm going to go even more specific. No, you're fucking with shit. I lived up in those. I was going to say, don't they don't go, season food either. Yeah, don't go yeah. very far don't go, past. You can't go above the Mason-Dixon line. Uh-uh. Yeah, don't go very far north past right I'm here. I'm going to go from yeah. Houston, Texas. To you gotta go a little somewhere. No, I'm going from Houston, Texas. You gotta go a little further west, straight to the east, At, yeah, to like the beach. You gotta Mobile, go from Alabama, yeah, somewhere yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta go from Odessa. Mobile. It surprises me how well, like Odessa little to distance Houston is eight north. hours of sand. No, surprise me Odessa how little distance west, north you can drive, and they run out of seasoning. Like it's, it's not <laughs> yeah. very damn high, and they don't season anything. You can't get sweet tea. You, it, I'm I telling you, I hate it when I you order it. a sweet tea and they bring you that flavored bullshit and it's the not raspberry sweet tea. Yeah, Lipton. That. It's raspberry fuck Lipton that. iced tea every time. That's, that's not what a we sweet got. tea in Vegas. That's what uh, you get. Southern cooking in Vegas. Yeah. Mickey's. It's like Mickey, need sweet uh, tea. Mil- they bring you raspberry yeah, machine tea. All right, well, no. drinks. 
What's your best carbonated drink and your worst carbonated drink? Oh, shit. Shit, I'll tell you what, though. Coke's undefeated, but I'm a Dr. Pepper guy. Me too. I'm, I'm a, a Sprite 7-Up guy. I'm a Dr. Pepper guy. But have, y'all, have, have y'all had a Big Red? I oh, like yeah. a Big Red. Yeah. I like a Big We've Red. All had a big red. But, you know, all the drinks like Big Red, Mellow Yellow, even the old, you know, Mountain Dew, to me, that's something you go to once a month. You, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, you know what? I'll take uh-huh. a Mountain Dew. I'll yes, take, me yeah. Yeah. you know, I'll take a grape soda. Now, I fuck something. Sprite and Seven but, Up. But and I guess it's an age thing. But <laughs> Mountain Dew, Big Red, man, indigestion. My yeah. God. Well, like God, a, a Mountain Dew's got like seventy-eight carbs <laughs> or something. It's bad. Well, it's I'll tell you what, though, when you're talking about carbonation, fountain drink over can drink every day of the week. Yeah. Fountain, that yes. fresh fucking fountain drink with that shitty ice at a gas station that you're <laughs> yes. probably going to get hep C from. Yes. That's if, a good That's something else about Louisiana is these damn daiquiris. If they have their machines oh, yeah. running right. If this, they do. Sometimes state, you get just clear water. Syrup. Yeah. Just this state and their daiquiris, yeah. all these fucking places you can get a daiquiri at, yeah. and they just put a little piece of tape on it like that's going to save you from going to fucking jail. Just get that little tape you know, on there. Back in the day, they would just leave a piece of the paper on the straw. Yep. I still do here. And, yep. and see, as, as when we were younger, of course, we'd go to a daiquiri shop. You drive through. Yeah. And what you do is you always keep an extra straw, straw in your truck. <laughs> yep. Well, With you're going to go get a DUI top. here yeah. because that tape's coming off, that straw's coming off. But we I'll have had it. a blast. Uh, Mr. Audrey, we appreciate you coming. Hey, I appreciate y'all having me. For the boss and Ricky and Nacho, raise them right. If you don't, they have zero fucks, and there's only one way. That's the outlaw way.